You guys, today we are gonna do the perfect pirouette. Um, just a disclaimer, asterisk, I am not a turner per se. I like a lot of leggy things, so I'm gonna do my best today, but I can teach it to you to the best of my ability. Um, we're gonna do jazz pirouettes and ballet pirouettes, so parallel and external rotated pirouettes. So get some space, get some, some positivity, and let's do some turns. So, I'm gonna make this as simple and clear as possible because pirouettes truly have a million different steps to them. So we're gonna break it down from body part and then try the actual turn. So the first one we're gonna do is our jazz turns, okay? You're gonna start parallel. Your legs are straight. You wanna make sure that your booty is not sticking out and it's pulled under. So what that means is lifting your lower abs, going here, bringing them in, making sure your spine is as neutral as possible so there's no curve. It's as straight as you can make it naturally, okay? Your core is squeezed in. You don't wanna have that release in your chest. Squeeze and close your rib cage. Keep your arms by your side. Your chin is lifted and your shoulders are pressed down. That's just the first start. <laughs> That's just the warm up, okay? We're here. Now, I'm gonna show you the right side pirouettes, which means your right foot's gonna go out, okay? So we're gonna go out to a tendu. Our arms lift to a T at the same time. When my right foot goes back, my right arm comes forward to here. Now, I'll turn to the side. You are up on that back, eleve. Your foot is not flat. It's up on an eleve. Again, your spine is neutral. You're not leaning forward or back. You're centered and you're going straight down. Your arms are in an L. You want to make sure this arm does not get behind you because then it shifts and opens your chest. You want to keep it in line with your inseam. That way you can stay centered. Okay? So let's bring it back. We go from our parallel to our tendu, to our prep. From here, you're not gonna turn yet, you're just gonna push straight up to a passe with that right foot. So the foot in the back is gonna come to your knee while your arms come to a nice circle. This is your fifth body hop. I told my little ones to hold the pizza, okay? So, pizza or fifth body hop. So from your prep, five, six, seven, eight, plie, passe, and hold. That's your first progression. Your second progression will be to go up to your passe, but on a relevé, which means, which means that you're gonna go up to your, um, your arches, okay? So we go plie, passe, and then come down. So, first progression is here, 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 flat foot, back to your prep, relevant, back to your prep. Now, here comes the rotation. So, the biggest mistake that people make is they try and do a passe, then the arms, then they try and turn, but it needs to happen all in the same moment. And that's your momentum with your pirouette. So, if my right arm is forward, that's the direction I'm gonna be going. Okay, so I'm turning over my right shoulder as I lift my passe and I bring my arms to a first. We're here, you plie. At the exact moment you lift up to your passe, your arms come to your pizza, you turn over your right shoulder, up. Okay, now, couple tips. Passe as high as you can make it. When you lift your passe, your hip flexors engage, your hamstring engages, your core engages, which makes you pull up and have a stronger, more controlled pirouette. You don't want to have it sleepy down here. It's going to drag your body down. If you lift your passe up, you lift up as well, okay? Now, spotting. You lock into one area, one thing in the room, preferably something that's stationary so you don't get dizzy. You lock it in, look right back to it each time. Look right back to it, okay? So, very fast. Parallel, straight legs, straight knees. Um, what is this? Your torso, in. Arms are down, shoulders down, chin up. 
We got time to. We create that. We spot and we squeeze up and we come down. For your jazz parallettes, so your parallel parallettes, I recommend coming down to a plie parallel with your arms still in your pizza and then recover back up. Try not to crash back down, it's going to create some bad habits. And try not to come down on a straight knee, you're going to hurt your kneecaps, okay? So have a nice cushion. Try it one more time. Six, seven, and tom, two, plie, and up. Plie, and come down. That's going to happen a couple times. Oh, I was going to tell you. It's on here. Before you do this, do like 20 crunches, a minute of plank. Get your muscles fired up, and then try your pirouettes. It'll help your core kind of figure out what the heck you're trying to do. Okay? Those are your jazz pirouettes, my friends. Let's move on to ballet. We did our jazz pirouettes. Now we're going to move on to your ballet pirouettes. They have similar mechanics, but everything is external, <laughs> externally rotated. So we stand in a beautiful first position. Our arms are in a bravo. Okay? Now, instead of your parallel step out, you're going to do a first position tendu, and your arms open to second. So we tendu out. Now, same thing here. Get your spine under so you're not like this, okay? And your arms don't get behind you. Don't, don't do this, okay? Keep it in line with your inseam, if anything, a little bit forward of it. So we go first position, we tendu open. This guy is going to rond de jambe back to your fourth. You plie. Now, when you plie, you want your knees over your toes. You want your lower abs lifted. Your arm comes in front, okay? Now, same thing here. Keeping this arm in front of your inseam, chin up, shoulders down. Your weight is centered and ever so slightly forward. This is just for your belly pirouettes, okay? Ever so slightly forward. All right, let's try that again. So from first position, we tendu out. We rond de jambe back, plie. Ooh, important tip. Your heels are completely down. So in your jazz pirouette, your back heel is lifted, but in your ballet pirouette, both heels are pressed firmly into the floor. Remember that, okay? I plie, now same thing from here. I plie, passe, lift my back foot up to a passe. My toes come underneath the supporting legs and kneecap. And I maintain my turnout as much as I can. Turnout is hard, so your body's gonna wanna do this. Your body's gonna wanna turn this foot in, and it's gonna wanna lift up to a not so turned out posse. But what you wanna do is fire up those external rotators, your deep outward rotators. Keep your turnout as best as you can. Oops. And up, squeeze, 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 squeeze. And that's your rotation from there. Okay? Same progression as the other type of pirouette. When I come up, I'm going to go to a releve, and then my arms are going to come into my pizza. Okay? We go releve pizza, and come back down. That was a good one. My goodness. And releve pizza, and come back down. Okay? Now, your body's going to want to do all sorts of weird, like a little car wash. You need to keep your core tight because your body's gonna to wanna to follow her. Rotation is not natural for the body, but it is in the end, so you have to keep everything as centered and lifted as possible so that you're not doing this kind of stuff, okay? Now, we're gonna add our pirouette in there. You're like, hello, that's why I watched this video. We go first position, we tend you out. We rond the jambe back with a neutral spine. Of course, it's the long one. <laughs> Two hours later. From your floor, again, the arm that's in front is the direction that you're turning. And don't forget to do what with your eyeballs? Bring it in. Spot. Woo! Spot. I got really Good job. Spot. Okay, so from here, I'm going to go up, all in the same. 
same motion. Passe, relevé, pizza, chin, spot, everything up, land lunge. Now, very quickly, if you have to watch my ballet vlog, your lunge goes from your passe, <clears throat> the foot that's up steps behind, flat foot, bend front leg, arms into an air vest, and your weight is forward. One more time, passe, step back, and extend. So that's your proper ballet pirouette landing for this video. First position we go, tendu, grand jambe, spot, land lunge. Now, even on that one, I can feel my passe kind of floating, which is a good tip. You want to make sure your passe is truly attached to your knee. You should feel it on your knee. So even I didn't do it that time. Here we go. Tendu. Plie. Attach it. Land lunge. To get rid of those little baby hops, you need to pull up and squeeze your core as much as you can. So from first, tendu. Plie. Squeeze. Down. That was much more controlled because I consciously pulled up. So try those a ton. <sighs> Don't forget to breathe also. I've been doing a lot, I'm doing a lot. I've been getting on DMs about um, how to do pirouettes. Why do I always fall over to the right or to the left? You need to find where your body is kind of making those wonky movements and self-correct. So if you're doing a pirouette and you're leaning right, engage your left obliques so that you can pull yourself back up to a neutral spine and a neutral core, okay? So that you're straight up and down. Good luck. Hello, my pretty pirouette people. That's called alliteration. Shout out Miss Grover in first, first grade, in freshman year of high school. You guys, pirouettes are a fundamental part of dance. So the parallel and the external rotated are two things that you do need to know if you want to be a dancer. Um, but again, warm up beforehand. I would do a full warm up, to be completely honest. TBH. Um, that way you have all of your muscles ready to go when you're not working with a cold body, okay? You want to be warm and limber and have your core ready to go. I don't even know where I left off, but that's okay. Practice that a lot. Please let me know what else you guys want to learn. I love hearing from you, like I say, every week. But it is very fun getting messages from you guys. Um, and I get all my ideas from you. So let me know what else you want to learn. Let me know how these go and if there's anything else that you would like to see from me. Love to all of you and thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. <laughs> the, the outro is just me going like this.